What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm giving away a free sliding text preset pack. That's pretty awesome. It allows you to seamlessly integrate your lower thirds and titles with animations really, really fast like this and this. And the best thing is it works with any duration of text because this pack is scalable. So you can do really fast text like this. Well, let's just jump into it and show you how to get this pack for free. All you have to do is watch this video and as you watch, there's gonna be letters that pop down from the top. There's five letters. As soon as you get all those, click the link in the description down below and add this to your cart. I'm currently running a sale, you can click no thanks. And then when you go to checkout, all you have to do is enter that code and then click apply and it will be free. Now, once you download, all you have to do is extract those files and then head on over to the effects tab in Premiere and right click on presets, click on import presets, navigate to wherever you downloaded that pack and click on KH text easy slide preset pack and click open. As soon as you click open, you'll see Kyler Holland presets. Under transitions, there's gonna be something new called text easy slide. Now, there's a ton of options. You have down, left, right, and up. And I would highly recommend dragging your effects tab to the left-hand side and making your own column. You can drag that like that, or you can drag it all the way over to the left side of your screen. That will allow you to see everything a little bit easier. Let me explain this naming convention. The first plus right here is gonna denote how strong the effect is, or in essence, how much it moves. And then the next one denotes what it is. So they're all slides, and then the next one denotes what the in action is, and that means down right here in the beginning. So that means if I drag this one, it's gonna be a small, down slide in. And then the next one at the very end is gonna denote what the outro animation does. And again, that's a small down outro. Like if this is one plus right here, that means it's not very strong. Now if I drag the same down down with three pluses, that means that this is gonna be very strong. So it's gonna slide in from the top. So it slides down and then the outro is gonna slide down as well. Why is this important? Well, this is really cool because now we can use like these two pluses and let's say we wanna slide down left. Well, it's going to slide down and then it's going to slide out to the left. So now that you guys know what the naming conventions are and how they work, let's show you how you can modify this. So I'm just going to type in like and subscribe, please. So I'm going to center that in the image and let's just drag in up and then down because this is going to be something like I think of like a little lower third. It's gonna slide up from the bottom and then it's gonna slide down. And it's really awesome because it fades in so it's pretty seamless, but this is how you modify it. You can actually just click on the text layer and head on over to effects controls and decrease the scale and then drag this down to the bottom of your screen. So we quickly and easily have a like and subscribe lower third that pops in from the bottom and slides out from the bottom. So we can slide left to left. So our lower third slide in from the left and then before you know it, it slides out to the left. It should also be noted here that these effects will scale. So if you have a short text layer, for example, and you decrease the duration of it and it's nice and quick, the animations are gonna be quick as well. So we have up, down, so it's gonna go up, and it's gonna go down. So we have four text layers right here, and right now they just say please like and subscribe. Now let's animate this. So for starters, I'm just gonna stick around with the one plus sign because I think these look pretty good. I'm gonna start it off with down, down, so that I know this outro animation is going down. And what I like to do is when it starts to move, I'll actually just click and drag my next text layer over to that starting point, so then the animation will happen. So I know that my outro is down, so then I know that I need to actually start with down again. So this time I'm gonna go down right on this text layer, so that when this one goes down, the next text layer will go down as well. And like I did before, once it starts moving, I'm simply gonna take this next text layer and move it to that playhead. Now on this one, since our outro on this top text layer is going to the right, I know that this one needs to be a right. So I'm gonna click slide right, and then I'm gonna make it go left. And then the same process, we're gonna go here till we start to get some movement, drag our text layer up to that playhead, and now we know we're sliding left, so we can go into the left column, and then let's go left up. So now quickly and easily we've created this quick please like and subscribe. And the best part is if you like all this stuff you can right click on all of them, head on over to nest, nested sequence, you can adjust the size and position 
of your text layer so that it pops up just at the bottom. I wanted to leave you guys with two more creative examples. So you can actually stack these layers on top of each other and when you think about it, all of these animations can come in from a different direction. So this is using all different directions and it goes in to spell one word. You can also offset them and also add color to certain layers. So then your layer on top would be green. So then it's all sliding down and it slides in in a creative way. This is pretty awesome because it allows you to honestly get creative with this pack and see what you can make. That's it. It's, it's a powerful pack and there's a lot of possibilities that you can do with this. I mean, you can slide your text all over the place. It just allows you to animate a little bit quicker and modify text to your heart's desire. If you guys want more videos like this, please click that like button and let me know your think down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get on it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.